praise the Lord. The first chapter, a rough start. The second chapter, a dysfunctional family setting. And this is what a lot of people can relate to, a dysfunctional family setting. Single parents, children growing up with a single father, a single mother, a step mother, stepfather, adopted parents, you know, and they use all these dysfunctional family setting as an excuse to go in the wrong direction, to be rebellious, to be on drugs, to be in prison, to be in the hands of the police. But I want you to know that regardless to your dysfunctional family setting, you can be who God has called you to be. You can be the God man, the God woman who God has called you to be because God is in control and regardless to your, your dysfunctional family setting. This is why I was inspired to write this book because when I see children who grow up in dysfunctional family setting and they're always in trouble, always in the hands of the police, always doing wrong things, getting into the wrong, going into the wrong direction, getting into the wrong crowd. And they use this as an excuse that my mommy this and my daddy this and my stepmother that and the other, they use that as an, as an excuse. But that is no excuse. You don't have to be as your, your alcoholic father or mother. You can be who God has called you to be regardless to your dysfunctional family setting. God loves you and he cares for you. And one of my sons said to me that because my father was an alcoholic, I don't want to be an alcoholic. My son said to me, he said, because of the way my father treated you, I want to treat my wife good. I don't want to treat my wife the way my father treated you and the way we were treated by our father. I want to take good care of my children. And this is how we must want to do the opposite of the wrong direction rather than taking example. So what I want you to know, this book is telling you all about. Your dysfunctional family setting can be a reverse to be the person who God has called you to be. A beautiful person, a beautiful jewel with honor that people can look up to and God will get all the glory and the praise and the honor regardless to your dysfunctional family setting. God is in control. So don't let that be an excuse to go in the wrong direction. Keep your eyes upon Jesus and he will make the difference in your life.